Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you exactly why walking is one of the best exercises for weight loss and exactly how you can get started on walking, how walking has actually benefited me and how many steps should you actually get a day to lose weight. So if you don't know me, my name is Louise and I've lost about 120 pounds. I used to weigh 269 pounds and I started my weight loss journey in January 2020. I started by counting my calories, making sure I was in a calorie deficit and started going to the gym walking on incline I do have videos going into more depth about that and I'll link them down below but today's video is more talking about walking and the amount of steps that I did before we start I would really appreciate it if you could give this video a like because I'm sure you will like it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click the bell button thank you to everyone that is already subscribed and a massive shout out and thank you to all of my members if you would like to become a member and find out more click the join button down below or the link will be in the description so yeah let's just get on to the video i have a bug in my breast oh my days it's a beetle Ugh. the reason why walking is one of the best exercises is because it's a low impact cardio instead of running which you might not be able to do for a longer period of time most people can't let's be real i can't walking you can do for a long time so you will actually burn more calories than you can running because you just can't run for that period of time it's also really good on your joints for example when you're really overweight you don't want to be doing jumping mo movements or anything like that you put too much pressure on your joints you can injure your, yourself you can damage your knees so yeah walking burns a lot of calories because you can do it for a long period of time and most people can walk even if you are really really overweight you more than likely can walk for even a short period of time so most people can do it which is why it's a really good exercise because it's good on your joints it, it helps improve your cardiovascular health helps you control diabetes and your cholesterol so many benefits to walk in and it's easy and one of the most convenient exercises to do so when I was obese, walking was really, really hard for me when I would try and take my kids to the park and literally go for a five to 10 minute walk. My ankles would get swollen. I would feel tired and lethargic and I would feel like I really need to sit down. My legs would feel heavy. I just felt like it was so much effort and energy. And now I can walk for basically ever. I feel like I could literally walk forever. I don't need to stop. Very rarely do I need to sit down or anything. I can do probably about 20,000 steps without actually feeling tired, which is pretty amazing. And that has been within a year right trust me if you feel like you won't ever be able to get to a point where you can walk for a very long time don't get discouraged I'm telling you if you gradually increase your activity increase the amount of walking you do you can get there so when I actually first started to lose weight I did walking on an incline in the treadmill and I didn't really actually go for walks in the beginning but I was averaging about two to three thousand steps a day when I first started because I wasn't increasing my daily activity that much apart from going to the gym in the morning so other than that I was getting about 3,000 steps a day a few months into me losing weight I decided to get a Fitbit uh, just to track my steps and actually see how active I am how many steps I'm getting a day and that really really did encourage me to increase my activity and go for walks I was averaging about 5,000 6,000 steps a day a few months into losing weight and everyone tells you 10,000 steps do 10,000 steps and I was like how the hell am I going to do 10,000 steps right so I set a realistic goal for 8,000 steps because it's just a few thousand steps a day extra than what I was currently getting and I just aimed to get the 8,000 steps every single day and to be honest I didn't even get the 8,000 every day sometimes I'd only get six seven thousand other days 8,000 you know I was just aiming for that after a few months I started to find it easy to get my 8,000 and I was even getting a little bit more than that once 8,000 steps a day got easy for me I increased it to 10,000 so now I'm at a minimum of 10,000 steps a day and sometimes I even go a bit higher sometimes I get 12 15 I know some of you were a bit shocked when I got 18,000 steps in one day to me it's like just normal now and it does get easier the more you walk and the more steps that you do so don't be discouraged by thinking that you have to get 10,000 steps a day because you don't if you are someone that doesn't even get a thousand steps a day you can't expect to then aim for 10,000 steps a day it's just not sustainable it's not realistic for you what is important is just increasing your steps by a little bit so what you can do is you can get a fitness tracker to help you know track your steps see how many steps you are getting a day and then just increase it or you can just aim to go for a walk every single day and that will really really help any activity any extra walking or activity will help you burn calories and help you get into a calorie deficit which will help you lose weight all right that's the secret just move your body more so what you can do is just make sure that you're going for a 
20 to 30 minute walk at least every single day. If you can't manage a 20 to 30 minute walk, start off by five, 10 minutes, whatever you can do, start off with that and just gradually increase it. If you can't do a 30 minute walk, you can split your walks up into three 10 minute walks a day. You can go for a walk in the morning and then in the afternoon, go for a 10 minute walk and then a 10 minute walk in the evening. It does not matter when you go for a walk. Some people say that you should walk fasted or walk after a meal. It doesn't matter. It still burns calories. But walking after you've eaten a meal really does help with digestion. So that is something you might want to consider I don't know but it doesn't matter in terms of burning calories burning fat you know what I mean just move your body and walk another tip is to just move your body more take the stairs rather than getting a lift or what is it called excavator no excavator <laughs> if, if you know you're if you're a mum you might know excavator hey see you later I'm an excavator comment down below where that's from if you're a mum to a little one you will know Park further away, walk to the shops instead of driving your car. Use your car as little, much, little as possible. But yeah, go for walks. Walking burns so many calories. So yeah, I'm telling you, walking is the, one of the best exercises. Literally, I injured my back in January and the only thing I could do was walking. It is a great stress relief, helps you manage your mental health. You're stressed, go for a walk. When in doubt, walk. That, that, that should be, a, I should print that on a t-shirt. When in doubt, walk. I don't know if that was is even a good saying, but. 10,000 steps a day is literally just the recommendation. That is not what you should be actually trying to get. I don't think it's realistic to go from doing 1,000 steps, 2,000 steps a day to straight to 10,000. It's not sustainable. It's not realistic for some people. For some people that is just like, I can't do it. You need to gradually increase your steps. Don't rush, it's not a race. You know what I mean? You can just gradually increase your steps. If you are doing 2,000 steps, increase it to 3,000. If you're doing 3,000, increase it to 4,000. Just gradually increase your steps and once you're comfortable getting that and that is like almost a normal for you then increase it a little bit more no matter what if you increase your activity if you increase the amount your body moves you're going to be burning calories and you're going to find it so much easier to lose weight for example my best friend the girl who's holding the camera right now yeah what right oh, right oh dear yeah she has lost near enough two stone which is 28 pounds yeah all just by counting her calories and walking she doesn't do exercise she doesn't want to exercise but she does like walking and i told her you know get a fitbit get them steps in and now and she, she, you know what when, before she got a fitbit yeah she was like nah i don't, I don't want to get one no, no no she got one and now she's like oh better go get my steps in <laughs> see what i mean that gets her butt up and moving you don't have to worry too much about how many calories you're burning on there and that because it's not really that accurate yeah but what i do like about fitbits and fitness trackers step trackers is that it keeps you aware of you know how active you are sometimes you might not even realize you think you're more active than what you are sometimes i won't even look at my my fitbit and i'll be moving around the house haven't gone out for a walk and i look and i'm like oh my days i've only got like i haven't even got a thousand steps yet and i'm like what have i been doing i thought i was more active i thought i was moving around but so, you know what I mean? It's good. I just find them really motivating to get you moving, but you don't actually need to get a step tracker to go outside and walk. Anyone can go and walk. If you've got a dog, go take them for the most walks they've ever been on in their life. Daily walks every single day. Your dog will love you even more for it, I promise. Right? If you've got a cat, whack a lead on there and go, I'm joking. <laughs> if you, I don't know, if you've got kids, take them out to the park, go for walks, get the whole family healthy, innit? Come on, just go out for walks, move your body. See, I thought I'd bring you guys out along with me on a walk today. Enjoy the sunshine, rain or shine, sunshine. We've got umbrellas, so even if it's raining, you can still go walk in, or you can walk up and down your hallway, which is what I did when I was in quarantine, when I had coronavirus, we can't say that, when I had, when I had COVID and I was in quarantine, walked up and down my hallway until I got my 10,000 steps. It can be done, okay? There's things, move your body, walk, burn them calories, and eat in a calorie deficit, eat healthy, eat balanced, don't cut anything out, right? Moderation is key. And yeah, we can all be healthy and fit. Mm. Get them steps in. All right, <laughs> like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, click the bell button, become a member if you would like to, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.